Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's great to have you here for another episode of the Scrotely Experiments in From the Depths. And in this episode, you know, we're going to be checking out what it takes to make a ship that can ram other ships with unconventional means in order to attempt to destroy them. And in this case, we have here a little boat I've built called the Nert Rammer. Uh, it's powered by some jets here, some air jets in the back, some jet engines, if you will. It's got a little solid grip of hydrofoils on the bottom, as you can see. And on the front, on the front, my friends, is a whole grip of ammo barrels. So, you know, the point is, we're going to see if we can ram this into other boats and blow them up. Now, uh, you know, ammo barrels only have a very small explosion radius, so any damage we're ever going to do is probably going to be pretty localized. But let me show you this system I devised. If you look here, behind the old captain's chair, you may notice an engine. However, on top of the engine and on the sides are four lasers. These lasers are aimed directly at the ammo barrels. Let me show you what'll happen here if we ignite these babies. Here we go. And then of course we could floor it, you know, and just get the heck out of there. So this is the ship I built. It, uh, it's, it's fast repairing as long as you're sitting and it can only be manually controlled. That's how I built it. And uh, the lasers are there just in case the ammo doesn't detonate when you run into something. You can see the rest of the craft is just all repair bots. You can see all the repair bots up here, just whipping it up here. It it repairs really quick. We're at 92. I mean, essentially, the whole point is, even while it's repairing, you could be coming back around here like for another attack run. So, with that in mind, let's load up something to try and ram. Okay, first target on the list, Sea Viper. Here we go. Let's try to get like a side view, sorta. It's maybe a little bit hard for me to control. But here we go. Come on, we just gotta hit the Sea Viper. You can't jump over him though, that's the thing. Oh, see? See what happened there? Nothing. Nothing. We just sorta zoomed past him. So, you can see there, definitely have a problem. Alright, let's come around for another pass. Okay. We're gonna do this. Sea Viper is just gonna be hard to hit or explode on. So here we go. I just stop right next to him, and I ignite the old barrels. <laughs> we'll see if that did anything. Did it do anything, or did it just make a shit ton of noise? So these are continuous short beam lasers. Uh, they shoot for a while. They make a ton of noise. Uh, let's take a look. So I'm repairing the Sea Viper with my dude, because uh, I, want, I wanted to have a stationary target for the first test. But yeah, we did a little bit of damage. I mean, you know... It's just a sea viper. It's nothing special. Now for this one, we're, we're just going to try to go slow. We're going to creep up on this guy. We're just creeping. We are just creeping. This is not even a normal, viable way to do this. But we got to get our, give ourselves like the best damn chance possible. Okay. Let's, uh, let's shoot the lasers. Here we go. We got a little grip of them down there. Will we do anything? Oh! I'm thinking that's a big no. Yeah, not much. We're barely hurting the Sea Viper. So you can see the ammo barrels aren't... I mean, it's just really making hilarious explosions. Okay, let's try on a bigger target. Maybe the Sea Viper is just not worthy. It's just not worthy of the exploding. We've got ourselves lined up here with the Marauder. We're going to try to hit the back of the Marauder. Maybe go for the chunky section. And we're, we're going to not use the lasers. We're just going to let the ramming do the work. Boom! Let's assess the damage. As you can see here, not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Um, we just barely got through some of the metal pointing towards the engine. And, bad news bears, we landed upside down. However, there is a solution to landing upside down with this ship. That is, fire the lasers, and then when the exploding's done, crank on the engines. Here we go, engines on. And hope for the best. Bye, Nox out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at us. Look at, look at us, baby! Maybe this is like more of an escape craft, you know? He's like a, a shifty escape craft. Oh my gosh. Some Somebody play some sweet space music right now because we are way out there. Okay, another test, another test. Can this ever be viable? What we're gonna do is just gently park our ship right next to the Marauder. 
We're pretending to be friends right now. We're on the same team, so we're going to be friends. This is maybe like a good way to sabotage. Now, I did notice this ship is great. Mine, I mean the uh, the Nerd Rammer, because it can like tip ships over. Check it out. If I just floor it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he's not doing it right now. Maybe not then. Okay, well, regardless, he's in a great spot to like rip this guy to shreds. So, let's try it. So, let's check out the damage. Gonna assess the situation here. Yeah, we're, we're like barely, barely touching him. So, I have tried other ammo configurations in the front. Using different looks and and uh, outfits for the barrels. You know, having them different, like, uh, different organized fashion, I guess. And it doesn't really seem to make a difference. Barrels seem to only hurt like one to two squares around them at most. So, really all you're doing is just making a sweet way to launch your, your ship out of the air, is what I'm thinking here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back around here for one more pass. Okay. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Slow her down. Okay, now speed up a little bit. Let's just get right on top. This is what I want to do, just get on top a little bit. Oh, here we go. So now we're, we're kind of tipping it a bit, aren't we? Look at this. There we go. Perfect. So, so see, we could do something like this, right? Get the, get the lasers going. And then we'll just floor it. And then we're like, all right, see ya, Marauder. We dropped off our pizzas. We're going to head on home. My god. What have I created? Oh, Jimmy. She's going to space. Pretty soon. Oh my god, look at this. Let's just enjoy the majesty for a moment. Everybody, just a moment of silence, please. Oh! Oh man, okay. How often do you see this when you're coming out of the sky and your old ship is still exploding up in the air? That's pretty epic. Alright, so here's, here's what's going to happen right now. We're just going to gently, gently come up to the Marauder here. Ever so gently. That was a pretty good hit, actually. Yeah, we're just going to rest on top like this. We just want to rest. That actually did pretty good damage, to be honest. So, so... Wow, yeah, no. I was thinking maybe we can just, like, turn over a little bit. And just get another little good position going on here. I'm thinking we can't. So yeah, you know, is is there a way to use unconventional methods like ammo barrels in the front to, you know, create like a suicide ship sort of? I, I don't think so right now. You really can't. You know, the damage is just so localized. I mean, you, oh look, there goes my, what the, my old ship. It's just so localized, you know, um, you can't really get the damage onto the, the other ship without either really hurting yourself a lot or uh, that one is stuck in floor it mode. I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. But yeah, so, I mean, it's just it's just too localized. There's not a great way to do it right now, I'm afraid. Um, there are other mechanisms you can use in the game, which will probably be a lot better, like using the actual ram bits or uh, using the drill bits to create, like, a huge drill. And we're trying to catch this guy because we want to ram him. And uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll do some other experiments using those pieces. But this one was just to see, like, yeah, is there an, is there an unconventional way you could do this uh, really... I don't think so. I mean, all we've done here is just made this ship that's amazing at, like, hopping and skipping and blowing itself into the air. Like, we are literally just following the other one. And remember, there's no AI on these. So he's just cruising for a bruising. That's the beauty of hydrofoils. And look, man, this thing never stops, right? Look at this. We're up in the mountains right now. And that ain't gonna stop us. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this episode of, of uh, Scrotely Experiments. You know, it's always weird and fun to try these goofy things like, uh, you know, different payloads and weapons and ways to deliver them. It's interesting. So if you have a great idea, let me know and I will give it a go. If you enjoyed the episode, you know, give it a thumbs up, uh, you know, like. If you're not a subscriber, come on and be a subscriber. 
and uh, you know, join in on the fun with us. So until next time, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.